Hello, and welcome to episode 26 of Camu Reviews Fruit. Today, I have what's called the Korean melon. Uh, as you can see, the Korean melon has these uh, sort of stripes and ridges along it, which I found really interesting on the outside of the fruit. Um, it's smaller and more oval-shaped than most melons. You know, I see a lot of melons that are more circular than this oval shape. And it's a much smaller than um, most melons that I've seen and reviewed. So I'm just going to cut along one of these ridges. Makes them a bit easier to cut into. The, uh, the flesh on the inside is this white color. It, uh, it smells a lot like a cantaloupe. So that's what I'm expecting the uh, flavor to be like. It smells very cantaloupe-esque. I'm just going to cut out the seeds. And uh, take a bite out of this. As you can probably hear, it's quite crunchy. It's crunchy like a like a pear, you know? I'm a I don't know if that was just because it was the end there, uh like the sort of end piece of the melon, so I'm going to try a section from further in to see if that texture is still remains. So it is pretty crunchy, which is interesting. It's uh, It's got that sort of uh, same crunchiness as like an apple or an Asian pear. Um, it's really interesting. Uh, the flavor is very similar to that of a cantaloupe or a um, something like a canary melon, which I reviewed, right? Um, it has a very cantaloupe flavor, but the texture is really crunchy and light, which is different than most of the melons. And I actually like this texture more than the texture of most melons. So I'm going to give the Korean melon a 6.5 out of 10. I think the crunch is really great. Um, but the flavor, it's it's like a cantaloupe. It's uh, If you like cantaloupe, you'd really like this. It's sort of crunchier which is nice. So uh, yeah, 6.5 out of 10 for the Korean melon.